they have a good, solid challenge in their hands, but at the same time, that's okay, quickly annoying. Okay, second area, Yoshi Valley, still. Favorite part about this game? Lots of lives. I'm surprised that worked. Usually, because those two, the block there and the raised block are so close to each other, that shell would come back and be like, screw you. But it didn't, which is good, because I wasn't expecting it. Okay, I'm going to leave this guy over here. He gets really annoying if he gets in my way over there. Mm, okay, time to out. Okay, he's gone now. Cool. By the way, here star of the precision jumps. Thankfully, I found a way to avoid those precision jumps. As you look at the clouds above you, above Mario, you'll see them getting fewer. And then you see precision jump clouds. Those, those aren't fun, guys. I mean, here they're not so bad because you're jumping up, you have a bit more room. I mean, it's not as difficult. That's okay. Also, you shouldn't put these blocks so close to each other because shells are going to bounce back. And I mean, if you're trying to make it annoying, great job. But if you're trying to make a legitimately fun game, probably shouldn't put in stuff like that because having your shells bounce back at you isn't really cool. At least not in that kind of a situation. I mean, I've seen it done well have shells bounce back at you. Also, if I go up there, yeah, the Yoshi coin. Woohoo. But, uh, I can't tell where this guy is, so there's no purpose in doing it, because I'm just going to miss him. And then I'm going to get hit. Oh, speak of the devil. I got hit. <laughs> Woo! But, yeah. So, anyway. That's basically level two from what I can tell. I don't think it's much longer than that. See there? bounce back. And that's just not fun. It creates a very glitchy environment when you have the option, is it going to bounce back or is it not going to bounce back? You should always know what your actions are going to do if you can see the whole stage. You should be able to say, oh, it's going to bounce back. It's not going to bounce back. You shouldn't say, well, uh, that block could be too close. Who knows? Because that's not cool for the player. I don't know how to get in there. There's probably a way to get in there. I'm not going to fall for that. Jerks. Glad, sort of glad you didn't put in a checkpoint. Because that one up is so helpful. I might actually skip the checkpoint if there was one here. Just because that one up there is so nice and useful. <laughs> Being liberal with the one ups is great. If you're going to make the game somewhat difficult, it's great to be liberal with the 1-ups. Unless... The alternative would be put checkpoints after every single level, which Brutal Mario Hack, I'm pretty sure, does have a checkpoint after every single level. Which is awesome, too. But I'm sure you're going to have more people who want to play this game without using save states than I do. And just me. That's what I meant. But, um... Yeah, so... Coins, blocks, don't go that way because then you can't see that one guy throwing hammers everywhere. I mean, I'll be honest, I really don't like that guy. He's the most annoying part of every Mario game I've ever played. Oh, look, there's a, there's a secret. Hmm, probably a pipe takes you in there. Oh. There is another glitch where you can take those shells with you. Oh, I missed the fire flower too. Okay. End of the level. No invisible coin blocks. No after scream deaths, hopefully. I know he's gonna fall. Okay. Looks good. Second level complete. 